In this video, we are going to create a restaurant website in under 10 minutes. If you are looking to create a great looking website for very little cost up front in an insanely short amount of time, then this video is for you. We're going to show you everything you need to know about setting up your website from step A to Z in less than 10 minutes using Hostinger's AI web builder. So let's get right into it. Today, we are going to set up our domain with Hostinger. We highly recommend Hostinger. They're super easy to use, very affordable, and it's going to give you a really good rate right now on your first year of hosting your domain. Hostinger's new AI website builder is great for beginners. And like I said, this will get you working on your website and have it up in less than 10 minutes. So let's get started with Hostinger. If you click on the link down below in the description, you could follow along as I work on it here. All right, so if you go ahead and click on that link down below, it will bring you to this page here. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner here, we can claim the deal for under $3 a month to host our domain. So let's go ahead and click claim deal here. And then we can go down to the bottom and see see that there are a couple options here to choose for our web hosting plan. As you can see here, there's premium, business, and then cloud startup. Some of the similarities between premium and business here are the unlimited free SSL, the unlimited bandwidth, free email, and free domain. They both have similar security features and service support as well. And you'll notice here that there's a 30 day money back guarantee on all of these plans. So it's really at no risk to you. One quick difference between the premium and the business plan is that the business plan is going to have WordPress AI tools. You can see that the premium here does not. You can just for yourself whether you think you'll need those WordPress AI tools and if that's a deal breaker for you or not. But for most people, I think that premium is going to be more than enough to start and it comes in, like we said, at $2.49 per month, which is a crazy deal. Let's click add to cart and then we can finish the secure payment part now. Once we click add to cart, then it'll bring us to this page here and we can complete our order. The next thing we need to do is to choose a period for hosting. Now, the only one that we don't recommend is the $11.99 because it's really expensive for one month. If you lock in for 12 or 24 months, it's going to give you a much better rate. So for the sake of this video, let's just choose 12 months here. And like we said, it's under that $3 mark per month. Go ahead next and create your account. So I'll type in my information here. Once we scroll down, it will give you the option here to select payment information. Go ahead and put in your information. I'll put mine in here now. You'll see that there's already a plan discount here of 75% off, but you want to make sure that you click this button here that says have a coupon code. Enter in our coupon code, my first website, and you'll see that it's going to take an additional three bucks off. That brings your total for the whole year down to 32.29. Like we said, it's an insane deal to host your domain for a whole year. Then we'll go ahead and insert our credit card information. And then once you have all that information in, go ahead and click submit secure payment. Once you've gone through that step-by-step -step process that they laid out, you'll get to a page similar to this and you can start creating your website. Now you should see a page that's similar to this and we'll click start now. So you want to click create a new website here. And then we'll use the one on the right, which says hosting or builder with AI. Then you can claim your free domain here. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to choose one later. Okay, now that you have your domain, you should see a page like this and you should click start creating. So now Hostinger wants to know some information about our company. For the purpose of this video, we're going to create an Italian restaurant and we're going to fill out the description here so we can give the AI as much information as possible to create a good looking website for us to start. Now that we filled out all this information about our restaurant, you can click on website type and you'll see that there's no description for restaurant. Just click other and then you want to make sure that you put as many words describing your restaurant as possible in the description. That will help the AI build a really good website that fits your specific needs. If you click down here on personalization settings, you can click surprise me. I'm just going to do that for the sake of this video. But if you want to do modern elegance or minimalistic, or if you want to change the color palette, that's an option for you here as well. So let's see what this AI builder builds for our website. Once you click create website here, it's writing the content and it should be done here in 30 seconds. Here's our website and it actually looks pretty good. I really like this font. I don't necessarily like this one, but we can change that in a second here. And if you scroll down, we have an about us. We have our menu here as well. I'm really glad that it included that. I put that in the description and I was hoping that it would create a bar for menu as it did. You can see right here. As we scroll down to the bottom here, we can see that I said that I have pizza on my menu, which is great. It added pizza and pasta as well. It has some pictures of our restaurant here that it pulled off the internet. These look amazing. And probably most importantly here, it has contact us, which is great. If somebody wants to make a reservation, they can reach out through this. So I would say this actually looks pretty good. I don't necessarily like the colors, but we can kind of change that here in a second. Now that we got a good look at our website, let's go through the side panel here and we can go through each one of these to show you just how to use these briefly. If you click on the plus here, this is where you can add elements. So I can add text to the page here and you see if I click text, it pops up. I can also add a button or a gallery. I can add another contact form. There's many things that you can do here.
here. I highly recommend that you play around with it. We won't go into super deep detail right now. This next button is really important. This is the pages and navigation page. So what's really important for our restaurant is going to be a gallery. So I'm going to add a new empty page in here and we're going to call it gallery. And that is where we will take a lot of pictures of our food and we're going to post them on our website. Once you have the gallery created, then you can just click up here on the top right hand corner and you can see that it is empty right now. This is the footer of the page, but everything else is empty. So we can add things in here. The way to add a section is if you go between these two sections, you can just click add section. And as you see, gallery pops right up. If you click on gallery, you can see that it will add one of these two templates in for you. They have a bunch of different options to choose from, but let's just click this first one to start. It added all these pictures into our gallery, which is great. The way to edit the pictures in the gallery is actually this button right here where it says manage gallery. If you click edit gallery, it's just going to adjust the items per row and the gaps between them. But if you click on this button here, manage gallery, then you can insert your own pictures, which is what you want to do. You can add images from the internet, which you probably wouldn't want to do in this case, you would want to add images of pictures from your food. But also if you're adding pictures from the internet, stock images that you want to put on the website, you can go to pexels.com. Pexels is a great website online that allows you to use free pictures. So for the sake of this video, let's say we just want a banner of Italy in the background of our Italian restaurant. So I'm going to type in Italy on Pexels and you can see there's a bunch of different pictures here that you can use for free. Now, one thing to note about this though, is you want to download a smaller size of the picture. If the picture is too big, it's going to take a really long time to load your website and it's not gonna be good. So just make sure that you have a smaller image size when you're downloading. Now that we've adjusted the layout of our menus and pages, we'll go back here and we can click on this button to see this different styles. Here you can change the font, you can change the colors and buttons, as well as the animation of everything on this page. So right now there's no animation, but let's say we want to have this slide in and you can see how it automatically pops in. Now let's say we want the page to scale in or fade. These are all the different animation options that happens when you load the page and they're really neat and add a great touch to your website. This next Next section is actually really neat. If you're interested in writing a blog on your website, this can come in handy. Or if you're interested in using an online store, you can add a store to this profile as well. The next part is actually really cool and it is this AI section. So they have AI logo maker, AI writer, AI blog generator, and AI heat map. For the sake of this video, let's just try the AI logo maker and let's see how it does. Now that I clicked on that, I actually created some logos earlier by this and all I had to do was put in some basic information. So if you click on that, it should just give you the name of your logo and maybe a little description and once you enter it, it gives you all these different options. And look at this one. I actually really like this one. It says the name of the company, Sam Eats, and it has the Coliseum in the background. It's actually really neat. Now you actually have to buy credits in order to download this, which is a little bit of a downside, but this is actually a really good logo. I would probably pay a lot of money online to have it done. So I don't mind paying for a credit to buy it from Hostinger. Also in here, if we go back to this AI page, there's an AI writer and you can just select the topic and it will auto generate text, which is really neat. It also has an AI blog generator, which is really neat as well. You can choose the tone of voice, the amount of words, and then just write a description and it will create the content. All really neat stuff. You should definitely check this out. I wish I had a tool like this when I was creating my website. Mine took me 20 hours over the course of a whole weekend, and this you can have actually up and running in less than 10 minutes. These other buttons down here are for analytics as well as languages. You can mess around with those on your own, but let's get back to the homepage on our website. I said earlier that I didn't like the font of Sam Eats, so so let's go ahead and change that. After I've clicked on this header area, I can go into the right section here and click edit header and go over to logo. This is actually a logo. So I can just replace it with maybe the one that I had earlier from the credits. If I don't wanna buy it, I can make my own, but you can just replace it there and change that if you want to. Another thing that's really important that you wanna keep in mind when you're editing your website is this button up here will allow you to see the website in mobile version. So you definitely want to click on that and make sure that it looks good. As I'm scrolling down, it looks great. Everything looks to be in order. Nothing is cut off. You can see my menu clearly and everything looks good. Also, if you notice here in the top left-hand corner, a really great check mark to see how you're progressing on your website. The setup checklist that Hostinger has is amazing. So we just fulfilled one by going on our mobile site and checking to make sure it works. And it has everything down here of what you need to do in order to check all the boxes to finish creating your website. You'll see that you can edit your heading text, update your image, edit your paragraph text, all these different things before 
before you go live. Let's go to the contact page real quickly and I'll show you something neat that hosting are included. If you scroll down to the bottom here, you can actually see that it gives you a Google Maps cutout version of your location, which is really neat. And you can change this by just clicking on it and saying edit map. It's a really neat feature that you can have your location here on the left as well as a little map to show where you are. It just brings a nice touch to your website. If you go down to the bottom here, you can just edit your social icons and then you can change the links here so that they link up exactly with your certain profiles. If you have a newsletter that you want people to sign up to for your website, you can see it down on the bottom here on the left. This will collect all emails and then they will send them to you in the back end of your site. If you need help finding anything, you can always click this button down here on the left, this magnifying glass, and you can add anything that you need. Let's say I wanted to add social. If we type in social, you can see that add social icon comes up here. So very intuitive, really helpful in finding things that you need for your website. All these sections can be edited as well all over the website. Anywhere you click, you can just click edit text and you can even use the AI writer too. Just for example, let's click on this about us section and say Los Angeles restaurant. And you can see that the text has changed there. Once you've finished editing your website, you want to click preview in the top right hand corner and this will show you your website exactly how it will appear on the internet. It will show you all the animations, the exact colors, everything you need to see in order to make sure that your website looks good before going live. You also want to make sure that it looks good on mobile as well. So just click this button and it puts it on a little phone. So you see Sam Eats, authentic Italian. As you scroll down, all the colors and animations come in accordingly. Here's my menu. Everything looks good. So that's everything you need to know about building your restaurant website in under 10 minutes. I really hope that you got some value from this video. And if you did, please leave us a like and a subscribe down below. As I said before, we will link the hosting or web builder in the description down below. Also, if you've been wanting to start a website website and you haven't started it, we have a free service that will help you get your website started. So you can check that out if you think that's for you too. This channel is dedicated to providing you videos and tutorials like this that will help you create your first website. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.